Welcome to Prince Math Clinic, the e-learning solution at your pace and time. Good morning and welcome to Prince Math Clinic. We are excited to have you here for our 10th day of the 11 day challenge. Today we will be tackling NEPO theory question 10, which involves calculating the volume of frosting of a cone and cylinders. And I will be walking you through the problems step by step and show you how to use the relevant formulas. Are you ready? So let's get started. I'm sure we are going to make a successful challenge all together. So looking at the question, we were told that a bucket full of water is 40 centimeters in diameter in the open, right? Now this is the open of the, this portion is the open. So if the diameter, diameter is from one end of the circle to the other end of the circle. That is what a diameter looks like. Therefore, half of the diameter is called a radius, right? We will see that later on in the formulas that are written down here. And 24 centimeters in diameter at the bottom end, that is this tail end here, is 24 centimeters in length. So half of it will be the radius. And 32 centimeters deep, that is this height. Now, you would now wonder, all this portion that are dotted indicates to us that they are not part of the question. But I had to just use dotted line to make the first one look like a cone. Because in the real sense, a first one is simply a portion that is cut out of a cone. So when you cut out this little portion from the cone, you leave a truncated cone. And that truncated cone is what we refer to as a first one. So, and if you look at the shape of a first one, it looks like a bucket. The question says the bucket is then emptied completely into a cylindrical drum. That means later on in the question, we are going to compare the volume of a first one and that of a uh, cylinder. Then we have to find the level of water in the drum to the nearest whole number. Now, the height here, the level of the water here refers to the height of the cylinder. So let's look at the key points that we need to uh, analyze here. We are given the diameter of the open end to be what? 40 centimeters. Therefore, to find the radius, radius is now diameter divided by 2. And if you divide 40 by 2, you get 20 centimeters. Similarly, the diameter of the lower end, right, is also small d equals to 2 times small arrow. Where small arrow is now small d divided by 2. And if you do that, you get 12 centimeters. Then the height, which is capital H, is given as what? 32 centimeters. Why the what? Small height of the cone. Let's call that X. So to go there, let's compare. If you compare by comparison, you now observe that the bigger cone, right, and the smaller cone have some things in common. And that those things in common is what I've tried to draw here in this smaller, in this triangle. You can see the red portion of the triangle has arrow, big arrow, small arrow, then has big H and X. So if we compare, we can say that the big arrow over small arrow can be equal to the big H over the what? Over X. So if you do that, right, this is what you are going to obtain. Our arrow is the big um, radius which we have found to be what? 20 and our small arrow is 12, right? Good. Equal to what is our H? Our H is given to us as 32. But we are going to do this because the H is the summation of what? This big H, right? The whole cone is H plus X, right? Let me write this over the small, which is X. 
Good. So, rewriting this, this is the same thing as what? 20 over 12 equals to h is what? 32 plus x, which we don't know, over x. Now, we want to what? Cross multiply. So, if you cross multiply x times 20 and 12 times this, you have this to be what? 20x equal to now 12 multiplied by what? 32 plus x. So, this will give us what? 20x equal to 12 times 32 will give us 384 then 12 times x will give us 12 x so by the time this now leads us to a linear equation such that if the plus 12 x crosses the equal to sign to this place it changes to what negative so this becomes what 20 x minus 12x equals to what? 384. And 20x minus 12x becomes what? 8x equals to what? 384. 8 is multiplying x. And for us to get the value for x, we have to divide both sides by 8. Right? What you do to the left, you must do to the right. So 8 here, 1. 8 here 1 and 8 going 384 can go 48 times so this is 48 centimeters right good so now that we know the value for our h it's sorry for the value of our x so it means that we can now know the full height of the cone therefore the height of the cone is now 48 centimeters plus the value we have for h which is what 28 centimeter now let's look at the diagram again so that you can understand what i just said looking at the diagram the full height of the cone is actually h plus x right so Permit me, let me just put this to be H plus X so that it will be very clear to you. Good. So with this now, no confusion again. Good. So let's move on. Know that that is my full height of the what? Of the cone. If I add 48 to 32, I'm going to obtain 80. So 80 centimeters is the what the height of the cone all right all right to find the volume of the fruiston remember the fruiston is this part this portion here the upper portion it means we have to find the volume of the entire cone right and subtract the volume of this small cone from the volume of the entire cone in order to get the volume of this fruiston so let's look at that therefore volume of fruiston is volume of the entire cone minus the volume of small cone now what is the volume of a cone the volume of a cone is simply 1 over 3 pi because we are talking about the entire cone I'll use capital R squared then capital H then the volume of the small cone 1 over 3 pi I'll use small R then H mind you the H here is not the same value of H that we have in that question the H here means the H the entire height of the whole cone so let's go so this become 1 over 3 times pi which is 22 over 7 times 
the radius of the open side of the bucket is what 20 as we have seen above so this becomes 20 over 1 times another 20 over 1 then the height is this 80 centimeters so let me write the 80 very well The minus, then you have 1 over 3, pi is 22 over 7, r squared, the small radius is 12, so this becomes 12 over 1, times 12 over 1, then our height there, the small height there, as we have calculated, is 48. That's the value of x that we got, right? So, punching your calculator, evaluating everything that we have here, the 1 over 3 times 22 over 7 times 20 times 80 over 21. Deploying everything I have here, I will have it as 704,000 divided by 21 minus everything we have here will become 152,064 all divided by 21 then if you subtract this from this you are going to get 551,000 936 all divided by 21 so when you punch your calculator you are going to get the volume of the flow stone to become 262 82.6667 centimeter cube this is the volume of the foston. But it did not end there. The question said that the foston was emptied into a cylinder. Right? Or the bucket was emptied into a cylinder. Since it was emptied into a cylinder, right? We need to find out what is the volume of the cylinder. Right? And for the sake of those of us that may not understand a cylinder is a shape that looks like this where the radius of the cylinder is given to us as 28 centimeters right and from here to here is the height right and that height as unknown so let's call it h right so if the bucket was emptied into the cylinder using the volume of foston to be close to the volume of the cylinder right we now know that our volume of cylinder is given as pi r square h right s we can now say that what the volume of the foston which is 262.8.2.6667 is equal to 22 over 7. The radius of the cylinder is given to us as 28 times 28 times the height. Yeah, everything over 1. Right? So let's evaluate. To find H, right? Having done using 7 to multiply this value and dividing everything by the multiple of everything that we have here, we are going to find h to be what 10.6667 centimeters. That happens, which we can approximate to the nearest whole number as 11 
centimeter. So this is the nearest whole number. Right? So that is the solution to this particular question. And I hope the solution was helpful. If it was, kindly give these videos a thumbs up and share it with your friends and loved ones. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye for now.